Analysis by Sky News suggests pharmacies in England are closing at a rapid rate at a time when the government's asking them to do more to ease the pressure on GPs. The closures have been blamed on government funding cuts, rising rents and costs, staff shortages and supply problems, as well as increased patient demand. Well, our data and forensics correspondent, Tom Cheshire, joins us now. And, and Tom, we, we spoke to a pharmacist in the, the last hour, and it just does seem that they've had a combination of factors which has really made life incredibly difficult for them in, in the current months. Yeah, I think that's the case, Jane. Every pharmacist we've spoken to cited a variety of things. I think government funding is the biggest, but it's clear it's really got worse. We looked at the data going back a decade, but it's really since 2017 uh, that things tend to get really, really bad. And we'll talk about exactly why. But since 2017, more pharmacies have closed than have opened. And that's led to an 8% decrease in the number of pharmacies since that year. 914 pharmacies closing, closing across England. And it's where it's happening. It's affecting those in the most deprived areas the most. This chart shows left to right the most, the least deprived areas in the country. And the bars show the more deprived you are, the more people you have to share your pharmacy with. Well, we've seen those closures mainly actually has been in the big pharmacy chains. We've had uh, Boots and Lloyds close loads of pharmacy. That puts pressure on those smaller pharmacies. It means there's more pressure in terms of patients coming to them, patient demand. That really hurts. But what happened in 2016, there was a funding cut. Pharmacies are funded by the government. Uh, they rely because they're part of the NHS on that money. 2016, a big funding cut. 2019, uh, there was a flat cut. That didn't take into account inflation, which is why we've seen such an increase in closures. It really takes off over the last few years. Now, we spoke to the government, a spokesperson for the Department of Health and Social Care told us that we are carefully monitoring access to pharmaceutical services, but good access remains. We've announced £645 million in additional funding in the primary care recovery plan and thousands more training places for pharmacists as part of the long-term workforce plan. On top of the £2.6 billion we provide every year to the sector. Now, pharmacists would argue that is simply not enough. They're being asked to do more. There's more demand, both in terms of patients coming to them, because there are fewer pharmacies, and also the government trying to get more people to go to pharmacies to relieve pressure on GPs. For a lot of them, they say that is unsustainable, and that's why so many pharmacies are closing. OK, Tom, thanks very much.